What's up guys? It's your girl Brittany and I'm back with another video, video, video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. Yo, we are back with another baddies review. Woo -oh -oh! And y'all, honestly, no lie. I was seeing a lot of people talking about, oh, this episode was bad, blah, blah, blah. Don't get me wrong. I'm used to Zeus dry dragging out the episodes in the scenes. So, yeah. But honestly, I thought this episode was pretty funny. Like, I thought it was good. So, maybe because it was drama going on. Yeah, and isn't that why we all watch the show? <laughs> episode was pretty tea you know i thought it was hella funny because of everything that was going on so yeah let's just get into it so we start where the other one left off and that's with callie and gretchen and they're really just pushing and shoving each other and honestly callie like two-pieced her a little bit and afterwards gretchen tried to throw a plant at her and Honestly, Callie's sitting here in her confessional saying, oh, if y'all not really friends, y'all acquaintances, if y'all don't fight, everybody fight their friend at least once. And I'm just like, not me. Honestly, I don't know about y'all, but if we got to put hands on each other afterwards, I really don't think we can be friends because it's like yeah why are we putting our hands on each other and we're supposed to be friends and the fact that Callie and Gretchen are supposed to be besties even though they just met like 12 days ago it's just like girl it's not even and honestly I guess I'll get into that later I guess but no I'll just I'll, I guess I'll just say it right now Callie's sitting here telling Gretchen like oh you don't ever have to question my loyalty I'm your friend and blah 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 and I get that Gretchen was there for Callie when Callie was going through her thing with Natalie but it's just like this whole friendship is honestly kind of weird to me because it's like you're going so hard behind some white lady whose granddaddy is black who's saying the n-word and it's just like girl and so afterwards Callie you know she's still kind of heated from her argument and y'all she go talks to Taseki and y'all Taseki is finally not being a background character that girl has some personality she gave Callie some shots and she tried to calm her down and y'all honestly this scene with Taseki I actually liked it because like I said the only time we see her on the camera is if she's quiet like she's literally just a background character and the only time they want to put her on is if she's fighting and it's just like yeah it's a sinky and she got some personality and she funny and she going around shot shot shots just like why are we not seeing that but yeah um Tasiki is calming Callie down they talk and Tasiki's just like look you need some happy shots I don't know what shots you were taking with Gritch but you need some happy shots so yeah but I, yeah so her and Tasiki they take some shots blah 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 and Callie tells Tasiki yeah that you know that um Gretchen was the only one that was there for her when the whole Natalie thing happened and blah 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 and she was just like she's not gonna let anybody jump Gretchen you know Gretchen is her friend you know she's gonna tell Gretchen that she can handle all her stuff one-on-one -on -one, but you know she's not gonna let anybody jump her and blah 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 and it's just like oh okay and so then afterwards Gretchen and Callie make up because quote-unquote they have a whole house to fight and yeah because it's just like yeah everybody like y'all both know that everybody wants Gretchen out shit I want Gretchen out I've been wanting Gretchen out since day one or two whenever she started saying the n-word like it's just like I really but whatever whatever but y'all tell me why Callie and Gretchen are talking and Callie's just like look me in my eye and, Ka and Gretchen takes her eye her um glasses off and it's just like oh girl she missing one lash it's just like put your glasses back on baby <laughs> Like, I do not know why Callie told her to take her glasses off. But yeah, they, they squash whatever beef they have and whatever. So as they're having their little moment on the beach, Scotty and Jayla are coming down the stairs. And all we hear is Jayla say, well, I told y'all we should have got rid of that hoe a long time ago. And I was just like, oh gosh, it's about to go down. So basically, Jayla and Scotty come down because they're both ready for Gretchen to leave. But let's bring her back to the last episode when Scotty was talking about this and Natalie was just like, oh yeah, because who, who gonna check you, Scotty? Who gonna check you, Scotty? And Scotty feels like 
I'm guessing Scotty let that get to her head because but for some reason she feels like her going to confront Gretchen she she's just like yeah you know I feel like Gretchen will understand you know I'm not confrontational Scotty really just feels like the best person to kick Gret to convince Gretchen to leave is her because she's the most calm the most understanding the peacemaker and if she tells Gretchen to leave Gretchen will just say okay like Scotty be for real so Jayla and Scotty are basically telling Gretchen like yeah you know we're ready for you to leave and Gretchen's basically still standing on business like yo I'm not leaving so they're going back and forth and Scotty feels disrespected so y'all tell me why I miss Scotty with the body next Gretchen right in her shit like who's taught Scott like I'm guessing Scotty just took some lessons from these past things. Mind you, I'm not saying Scotty beat Gretchen up because they little fight was kind of like on some... Like, I ain't gonna lie. Scotty hit her in the face a few times, but it's not like she beat Gretchen's ass or she beat her up, if you get what I'm saying. Like, she hit the girl in the face like once, maybe twice, and then, you know... Yeah, it wasn't really anything, but... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, tell me why as Scotty and Gretchen are fighting, Callie's in the back like, why though? What's the problem? What's the problem? And Jayla's just like, yo, like let them have it one-on-one. -on -one. And I agree with that because it's just Gretchen and Scotty fighting. Like, <laughs> like it's just Gretchen and Scotty. Like, just let them have their one-on-one. -on -one. Think she doing her big one that you know like whatever like just let them have it but you know Callie's not effing with it and she basically tells them like yo y'all OG's not really about to come down and bully us like what's up and if y'all want to fight y'all keep wanting to pick on Gretchen like y'all fight on me and y'all know why Scotty not even like that for real Scotty hit Gretchen herself but Scotty no Scotty was not about to hit Callie, for real. Like, you know, Scotty was going back and forth, you know, but Scotty was not about to take off on Callie, you know. And honestly, it don't seem like Callie wanted to fight Scotty, but Callie was just really on some protecting her friend stuff, and apparently Gretchen broke her arm. And then, within the midst of all of this, Jayla's coming out of nowhere. She's just like, nobody touch my head, nobody go past my line, or I'm gonna deck you right in your shit. I'm gonna slide off on you. And that, and it's just like, y'all, honestly, this whole scene was just the, it was just Jayla and Scotty versus Callie and Gretchen. It was just like, and I really feel like it was plenty of space and opportunity to fight on both sides. For real. I really feel like if Jayla and Scotty were that mad and they wanted them to go, well, Scotty already hit Gretchen. But Callie was honestly getting in the middle of it. And, I, and I'm not saying Jayla was scared of um, Callie because y'all know Jayla not ducking no spade. Um, no fade. But it's just like, it kind of, no lie, y'all. This is just my opinion. It seemed like the energy got kind of uh, when Callie um, jumped in. And y'all, that, that's just my opinion. I'm not saying, I'm not, not N-O-T saying that anybody's scared of Callie. I ain't saying that, okay? Because I already know how my girl Jayla is. You know, like I said, I've been watching Jayla since BGC and I know my girl don't duck no face. But it just seemed like the energy was kind of uh, when Callie got in there, you know? Yeah, yeah, that whole scene with them, no lie, it was kind of a lot. It was just a whole bunch of back and forth because it's just like, on one end, I'm just like, okay, if y'all really feel like Gretchen should leave that bad and y'all want her out, then get this bitch out of the house. And it's just like, if Callie and Gretchen, if y'all feel that tried, then no lie, run up. Y'all got two girls that came to y'all where y'all were, called y'all out. And no, and y'all, you know, y'all ain't defend y'all turf. And then at the same time, it's just like Jayla and um Scotty, y'all came to where they were messing with them, and y'all claiming that you know y'all want them to swing. It's just like it was just this. It was just a whole bunch of this with no fighting. Like everybody just bumping knuckles. Jayla, don't go past my hand. Don't go past my hand. And then you got Callie. If the next person hit Gretchen, I'ma swing. Then you got Gretchen. Oh, my arm hurt. 
And then you got Scotty, yo, bitch, it's not go jump me. And it was just like, at this point, it's like, are y'all about to fight? Are we about to keep screaming? It's just like, I don't know what's going on. But everybody claiming everybody want to fight, but everybody, like, this is not, like, I, I was confused. It was like, in yeah, everybody was saying they wanted to fight, but nobody wanted to fight. Because it's like, mind you, when Jayla had her arm out, they came past her line. They was all in each other's face. Because shit, at one point, when, um, when, um, J Callie literally grabbed Jayla, put her on the other side when Jayla tried to sling on um, Gretchen. So it's just like, that would have been enough for me to swing. Like, just the initial touch. It's just like, so with this scene, it was kind of like, like I said, I don't think anybody's scared of Callie, but it just seemed like it was kind of a, if it was Gretchen by herself type of thing, that it would have been a run up with no hesitation. But that's just my opinion, you know, like, but afterwards, you know, Jayla and Scotty go upstairs, they talk to Natalie, and Scotty's basically just like, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, I want her to go, blah, blah, blah. And Jayla basically said, oh, it's up for Callie and Gretchen, since Callie wants to defend her. I don't know why Callie wants to defend her. And y'all tell me why. Y'all tell me why Scotty had the nerve <laughs> to sit here and be like oh you know how are they friends and y'all just fought scotty said that scotty had the nerve to try to question somebody's friendship because two people that are friends that are claiming they're friends just fought and it's just like don't you and natalie fight every se season then after the scene y'all fight y'all lick each other's Womp, womp, womp. So it's just like, right message, wrong messenger. So when it comes to, don't get me wrong, Callie and Gretchen's friendship is weird, but Scotty, you don't gotta, what, what, what's the saying? A pot to piss in when it comes to people talking about friends because yeah, you and Natalie fight every season and then go in the room and buck coochies with each other, so. Just sit this one out, baby, please sit this one out. So afterwards, we get outside and it just looks like it's Jayla versus Callie arguing. Callie's standing on some type of chair. Jayla's standing, Jayla's standing up looking cute and she's walking around and they're both back on the stuff they were on the beach. Like, oh, hit me, hit me, hit me type thing, but nobody's hitting each other. And this is where I was just getting aggravated because I was just like, if these bitches don't finally fight, I'm gonna be mad because it's just like, and like, I was just frustrated because on the beach it was a whole bunch of hit me, hit me, hit me, and nobody hit, hitting. And then right here was a whole bunch of hit me, hit me, hit me, and nobody hitting. But they finally square up, and you know, Jayla hits her like a good one or two times. And Callie, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know, whatever that one or two punches that Jayla did to her, I don't know, you know. <laughs> what that did because Callie big ass was spun around and then she started twerking maybe to save herself a little bit of embarrassing like damn this girl just hit me and I spun around like I was seeing a, don't get me wrong Jayla did not beat up Callie or whoop Callie's ass but she did hit her and did something because Callie was leaking I heard a lot of people like oh Callie I mean Jayla did hit her that punch wasn't nothing that punch probably did a little something something if Callie sit here bleeding but I'm not gonna sit here like for Jayla to be like it, it was, to me it was kind of cringe because of the fact that Jayla like yeah you hit the girl and yeah her nose weeded it's like okay cool 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 but the whole like girl like don't make it seem like you just did your big one and whooped this girl ass like you know I was really hoping that they would that they would run it again cause, but it's like Callie tried to sneak Jayla but you know Jayla quickly did she was like bitch I wish the fuck you would have and it was just like no lie yeah but like I said I've been watching Jayla since Bad Girls Club you know so it was just like yeah so yeah, I really wanted them to fight again, but it's just like they're going back and forth. Y'all, it was just a whole bunch of it was a whole bunch of shit. It was just like they're going back and forth. You know, they only fight that one time. Callie and Gretchen are talking about, oh, y'all mad at the newbies and blah 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 blah. And so y'all Gretchen's talking. 
Roly gets into it and Roly's yelling. Then out of nowhere, I don't know how Roly tiptoed over to Gretchen and she's, I ain't gonna lie, she hit the f out of Gretchen. And my thing is, I don't know how nobody didn't hear Roly coming. I don't know how nobody didn't see Roly coming. Like, Roly really tiptoed over there and got Gretchen. And after that, she gets Gretchen. Gretchen tries to throw a rock at her and honestly at that moment I was just like all right like let's just shut it down <laughs> like you got OP you got people throwing rocks Rolly done got into it and then the thing is I heard Callie in the back saying because Rolly also tried to get into it with Callie but Callie's just like girl can't nobody touch you it's in your contract you're not supposed to be fighting and blah 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 but honestly I know if Rolly don't care, I would hope they don't give a fuck. Cause it's just like honestly, yeah, you swing on me, you trying to fight me. I don't care what's in your contract. You wanna be like, you wanna be big and bold, let's be big and bold. But yeah, that's okay. I'm just messy, so I'm just talking like that. But yeah. So afterwards, tell me why Gretchen gets her lick back and hits Rolly. And no lie, it looked like she kind of Rolly in the back of the head. So it's just like I was just like, oh my god. What's going on? And then you hear Callie turn it up again. Yeah, these new bees, yeah, we the blah, 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 blah. Like, she's just hell again lit. And Gretchen's hyping her up too. We the, we the new bees and we the blah, 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 blah. Y'all know shade, but Gretchen, she doesn't do it for me. Her confessional doesn't do it for me. Like, Gretchen, she gives ostrich. Witch. <laughs> Then Callie sitting here saying, Roly, you don't love yourself. And Roly sitting here saying, yo, Callie, your only accomplishment is fighting Krishan. And it was just like, yeah, honestly, I didn't know Callie before this. I didn't even know she was Blueface's sister, honestly. And then after all this, Natalie gets out of nowhere and she's like, wait, I want everybody to, she's just throwing a tantrum. I want everybody to be together. This is why we cannot have nice things. This is why we can't. And this is why, and this is why, and blah, blah, blah. But it's just like, girl, and my thing is, Natalie, if you don't want all this to happen, send these bitches home. Like, for real. And Natalie told me she hasn't eaten in five days. Clearly, you ain't that hungry. Okay, because if you were that hungry, you would have sent these people home so you can yum, 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 eat your soup or something. Like, if you were that hungry, these people would be gone. But clearly, you starving for the attention the views and everything because you starving because you letting these people fight you going to sleep hungry every day because you want to watch these people fight because honestly if not my thing is if natalie really wanted these people gone she would send them home like i feel like gretchen should go home for trying to throw that rock for real because throwing a rock is crazy <laughs> Throwing a rock is crazy. But yeah, I was like, I feel like if Natalie really had a problem with all this fighting, that she would send these people home. Cause sending, like, kicking these girls off, it's already too many people on this cast. Y'all already 20. It's already 20 people split in $20. Like, it's already 50 rooms in the house. It's just like, sending people home is not gonna hurt. I sure won't care if she send people home. I don't give a fuck who goes home. Like, yeah, y'all can go home for all I care, but clearly Natalie's upset because she wants to eat and all these people want to do is fight. So next we have Anna comes in and she talks to Natalie, Meatball, DTB, and Tinkerbell. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, and Tinkerbell. So honestly, y'all, it seems like Mac is actually upset that she fought Mariah's mom. It seemed like she didn't want to fight Mariah's mom, but Mariah's mom pushed her to that point. Cause she's talking about like she's talking about her finger being sprained, but she's also talking about, you know, how drained she is. And then on top of that, she know Mariah gonna try to fight her for fighting her mom. So it's just like she's just saying she's drained. But y'all, honestly, besides all that, like I've been trying to withhold from saying this for so long, but y'all, meatball like it's okay to like i get it she's like this on instagram and whatnot but seeing her walk around in this do-rag was the last straw for me it was just like yeah this do-rag in the in the gym outfit it was just like i like you don't gotta put on stripper heels and a dress to go to the club if that's not your style like if if her i feel like 
Like, she can dress up to fit her. Like, the do-rag in the club killed it. It, it killed me, y'all. I'm sorry. Like, I've been trying to withhold because I've been like, okay, Meatball, she doesn't dress up, but she's been saying she don't care. This is how she dressed. She comfortable. This is how she is on Instagram. Woo, woo, woo. And at first, I was just like, okay, cool. But it's just like, girl, you didn't bring anything. You didn't bring anything. Like, you don't got, like, you don't gotta wear, you don't gotta wear what these people wearing. But Meatball, like, come on now. Like, I'm, y'all know like, I'm, I'm, kind of disappointed because it did on top of that and then my thing is especially because everybody looks good everybody looks shit tinkerbell had on some shorts and t and i just feel like dtb had on a bodysuit i mean a jumpsuit everybody looked good and it's just like then yeah, it's like the camera pans to meatball and i seen a do-rag and i was just like But y'all wait, BTW, before it is, Natalie's saying that DTB gives Anna from Ann Moore from season two was 150 million percent accurate down to the I'm a throat guilt and all the other. I was just like, oh my gosh, all this attention, clout sinking, I got a deep throat it, stigma thing it literally gives Anne, and it's too cringe i was like ew get it off my screen like her deep throat in the champagne bottle it was just like okay cool you can deep throw the bottle girl can you read a book <laughs> so the girls are on their way to the club and you know everybody split off in their different sections i can't really remember who but i i do know that um callie was in with grinch and they were basically talking about the honor thing and callie like Anna should do, I mean that Mariah should do her big one on Anna for hitting her mom and no lie like yeah I really do feel like yeah old girl hit her mom Mariah has every right to be upset and want to fight her but at the same time it's just like is anybody like I honestly feel like y'all and this is my just personal opinion I really do feel like if somebody's mom attacked me like the way Anna's sitting here saying is that Mariah's mom and auntie literally attacked her. Like, if somebody, if your mom is arguing with me, cool. You can argue with yourself or argue with whoever, but it's not going to be with me. But if somebody's mom attacked me, then yeah, I have every right to defend myself. And, you know, I know a lot of people have been saying like, oh, Anna should have walked away. Anna should have walked away. But if somebody's mom literally puts their hands on me first, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, shit, like this is so-and-so's mom. Like, no, you're just a person that touched me. So now I got to touch you back. Like, period, point blank. So honestly, y'all. No lie, I'm hashtag team Anna, and because I feel like regardless of what happened, I know Anna mouth is reckless, and I do feel like you know both parties could have stepped away. But all bets were over when Mariah's mom attacked Anna. Like for real, like it feels just so. If Anna's mom touched Mariah's mom first, then I'd be like, damn, you know. But yeah, Anna, you know, she deserved to get out ass beat. But it's just like yeah your mama touched me she attacked me and i whooped her ass so it's just like i'm sorry but yeah callie think that mariah should do her big one and mariah claims she gonna do her big one like y'all when they were in the club mariah had to leave yo like mariah was just like yo it's like mariah was having fun then when anna got the mic mariah had to walk out mariah was just like yeah like i'm gonna end up being this <laughs> But it's like, I'm glad they didn't do it in the club. I'm glad Mariah walked away because, you know, they were at their hosting. But I already know that they gonna get into it. So it's just like, whatever. But y'all tell me why when they're in the club, they're having fun. Tinkerbell looks lit. She's having fun. So Natalie takes off her baddie shade and she puts it on Tinkerbell. And you would have thought Tinkerbell won the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes, I'm going to Disney World. Like, she was just so honored. Y'all, mind you, I've never been gifted a chain before. But it was just like, do I think I'll cry about it? No, but that's just me. But, yeah, Tinkerbell was hella emotional. She was like, I don't know if I should cry. But she was happy. She had every right to be happy. And she gets on the mic and she expresses her happiness. And she's just like, hey, you know, new baddie. I got a chain, blah, blah, blah. She was popping her shit. And I was just like, okay, cool. You just got a chain. Girl, good for you. Yeah, pop your shit. But 
Then we go to Meatball, and Meatball's not feeling it. She's just like, oh, when she got her chain, it was basically, felt like it was a, oh, y'all better watch out and not a, hey, sis, I just got my chain, something like that. And it was just like, honestly, it didn't give that. It looked like Tinkerbell, like, like I said, it looked like she really just acted like she won the Super Bowl and she was happy. Like, it really didn't look like it was a flex. It really just looked like she was happy that she got a chain. And so for Meatball to even kind of interpret it like that, it's kind of weird, haterish. And it was just like, girl, you have a whole chain on that says MB. Make it make sense. Weird flex, but okay. It, it, like, it really gave hater. And it was just like, no lie. Meatball, you hate it. You got a do rag on. Like, girl, just, just, just sit down. This is not about you, girl. Just sit down. Then we get to the end of the episode. Woo! So yeah, it seems like next week we have Anna versus Mariah. We get into Tinkerbell versus um, Meatball. And uh, honestly, I really do hope that the reason Meatball and Tinkerbell didn't fall out is because of Tinkerbell getting a chain and Meatball didn't. Like, I, I just find it weird because it's just like, we supposed to be sick. Oh, all right, let me just say this. Meatball and Tinkerbell's friendship always gave weird to me. One, I didn't even know they were friends portraying to be sisters or whatever because it seemed like Tinkerbell was hashtag um, uh, uh, Slim and Dia. And yeah, it seemed like Meatball was team Tinkerbell by herself. So their, their own relationship was weird to me just based off of that. And now it's weird, it's even weirder to me that Tinkerbell's happy about something and Meatball is just on some, oh, are you trying to flex on me thing? It's just because honestly, Tinkerbell's speech didn't even give that. So I don't know. Y'all, this episode, I ain't gonna lie, I enjoyed it. I thought it was, I thought it was kind of tea, you know. I like, you know, <laughs> I thought it was tea. But yeah, moral of the story, Scotty and Jayla, I really do feel like the energy got, the energy kind of went down when Callie jumped in it. I really do feel like if Gretchen was sitting on a beach by herself, they both would have swung on her. They wouldn't, they probably wouldn't have jumped her, but they would have swung on her because, yeah. Two, I also feel like Callie was probably kind of hesitant to fight Jayla as well. Because she know Jayla what this is. And she probably didn't expect to get that one hit from Jayla. So she had to turn around and start twerking due to embarrassment. Three, Meatball. Kind of weird for trying to think Tinkerbell trying to stunt on her with her baddie chain. Yeah. Four, I'm ready to see this Mariah and Anna fight because of the fact I just feel like it's fair game. They both the same size and everything. So I, it's not going to be, oh my gosh, it's unfair. Like this is just about to be a fair ass fight. Five, I really do feel like Scotty really let everybody from the last episode hype her up to think that she can go out and convince Gretchen to leave. It's like she been fighting y'all for the past seven million years. Like if she wanted to leave, she would have left by now. And hearing it from Scotty, I don't know why she thought that was gonna make her leave. But at this point, I'm so ready for Gretchen to leave. It's just like, whatever. But yeah, y'all, I'll be back next week. So when I watch it, I hope y'all watch it and y'all come back here and watch me talk shit about it. So in the meantime, just make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, just all that. Don't, don't play with it, don't be the size.